What's going on guys? It's Eric again back with another video. Happy New Year 2022 to everyone out there. If you spent it with friends, family, if you went somewhere and did something, kind of however you uh, choose to celebrate this kind of holiday, the the flipping of the calendar going to the next 12 months, however you do that, uh, I hope you're safe and sound and you're kind of sitting here watching my video or anybody else's videos that come out to do this other stuff. I could go through a plethora of other uh, YouTube channels, which I follow. Uh, but if it's not me, I hope it's somebody else that you guys uh, follow when you get your uh, kind of your sports fix on it, even if it's not ESPN, Fox Sports, uh, NFL Network, or wh whoever uh, whoever you choose to follow here on YouTube. There are plenty of other uh, folks you guys could come to. So I really do appreciate you coming across to this channel, even though kind of right now I'm starting to restart this channel. Hopefully we'll get it up to uh, kind of where we're going here. But anyway, kind of want to start off this video as saying... Um, we got blown out today, guys, for a Michigan. As you guys can tell by the video, this is a uh, Michigan video. Being in the uh, college football playoff, playing Georgia, probably underestimatingly, uh, not really underestimatingly, probably the best team in the country we uh, played against Georgia. We lost 34-11. It wasn't even close. I'm not even really going to get into any of the details. Horizontally, vertically, run game, defense, we were we were just out class. It was a pretty much a disparity in the talent here. Let's put it that way. It's Michigan has a uh, has a has a long way to go if they want to be competitive with the SEC teams, which that's a whole other story uh, within its own part here, which I'm really not going to get into here. Uh, it, it was just a beatdown, guys. I mean, really couldn't do anything offensively, couldn't defend defensively. They kind of spread us out horizontally and vertically here. When they took their chances to go deep, they did, and they pretty much connected on here. Um, the quarterback for Georgia, which his name escapes me right now, is he's a real deal, guys. I think going into the national championship game against Georgia, which, again, it's another SEC championship, uh, national championship game, which I won't be watching. I think that's kind of going off here on a, a slight tangent here. I think that's going to hurt ratings for ESPN, being that everyone's going to be like, oh, God, another SEC championship with Georgia. And, um, you know, Alabama kind of coming on here. Even if it was Clemson, it'd be kind of be the same thing. God, we got to see Alabama Clemson again. I want to see different people in that national championship game for me to sit down and watch. I'm not going to sit down and watch this game. I'm just going to go do something else. I'm I'm not going to sit and watch the game. It's it's gonna it's gonna hurt ratings, and I think people are going to show it with the uh, with the ratings that ESPN has. But anyway, kind of going off on that. Um, it's going to be an Alabama Georgia uh, national championship game. I guess that's really not real a real shocker. Even if you put Ohio State in there, or Iowa, or any other Big Ten team, or really any other team uh, to play Georgia, they're probably going to get throttled just like Michigan did, and probably you could say perhaps worse. I guess um, it, being wherever they're at in the uh, in the pecking order here, I, I just think that Georgia was um, they were focused. They knew what they were going to do. And uh, they executed it pre almost perfectly. I'm not going to say it was a perfect game by Georgia, but they did. They pushed Michigan around. They kind of did whatever they wanted to do. Kind of like three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, when Michigan played uh, Ohio State. It was kind of that game, but it ended up Michigan being on the on the uh, on the other side of this thing. It was Georgia could really do no wrong, and so. Well, kind of with that being said here, guys, there really isn't much any anything else to really talk about here except the stats. But if you watch the game, you know that Michigan didn't run the ball well. I think they only had less than, I think I read on, I'm here on MLive looking over here on the other screen, 106 rushing yards or overall yards or kind of something like that. It was it was not a game of Michigan. I mean, Michigan just got throttled in this game, guys. It was. I know you're going to kind of see that being a, a constant reoccurring theme in this video, which hopefully we're not going to be that far into this video, but not 10 to 15 minutes. But if you watch a game, uh, you knew that uh, Michigan was uh, had a chance at the beginning. You kind of thought they had a chance, like I did. I put $50 on Michigan to hopefully win out, right? The odds were more, better than 3-1. to one. And I was over at uh, Fire Keepers in Battle Creek, Michigan. I don't know how many other uh, people that come across my video, if, they, if they're if they in the Michigan area or if they're in, in the national, uh, across the United States or even in the world. Battle Creek is the cereal city. That's pretty much where all, not all your cereal comes from, but Post, Kellogg's, all that sort of stuff. And again, going off here on another tangent, but I went over there, bet 50 bucks on Michigan to win, and I figured, well, it could... If I win, I'm getting a good payout, and if I lose, well, I only spent 50 bucks there, and I spent like, 
$18 on drinks and I was good and I left. So I spent less than $100, which usually I'll put $100 into the machines and uh, be content even with that. So I spent less than what I usually do at Firekeepers and oh well, it, it just didn't come to fruition. So really kind of what does what happens next with Michigan? Do they uh, is it a is it a building block for them? Is it something to be like, okay, now we've gotten a taste of what it takes to get to the national championship game, and what else are we going to do here? Or is it a kind of just as kind of a flash in the pan for Michigan, and they're going to kind of regress and have Ohio State or some other Big Ten team kind of come up and be that uh, be that team that kind of contends with Ohio State, or is Ohio State just going to be the cream of the crop here in the Big Ten? I, I I don't know the answer to that right now. At least this season with Ohio State playing in the Rose Bowl, which is at this point in time going to be later today as it's only uh, quarter after 11 here uh, on the East Coast on January 1st. Um, it's just kind of be one of these things of, well, is is Michigan going to take that next step or Michigan State going to take that next step or Iowa or Indiana or whoever that team is to contend with Ohio State and kind of give Ohio State a run for their money? Or is it going to be a Michigan going to be a flash in the pan, or any other Big Ten team going to be a um, a team that tries to contend but just isn't isn't up to snuff? Maybe this was just an anomaly year. I hope not. I hope this isn't an anomaly year for Michigan. I hope to see them back here, uh, at least in the hunt for the national championship. I don't want to see them regress and not be in the college football playoff. And that's a whole other thing. Being in the college football playoff, I'm going to make another video on that about how players and uh, how players kind of view bowl games and where the national championship is at right now because that's all uh, a bunch of other malarkey that I really don't understand. I guess it's the, the generational gap between me uh, and the players on here, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, kind of going back to what I said here, uh, is that team going to be Ohio State and Ohio State being the flagship of the conference? Or is it going to be Michigan and Ohio State? Or is it going to be the, it brings up all the rest of the conference here to uh, to contend against Ohio State and to hopefully contend for the East and West divisions and the Big Ten championship? I mean, only time will tell here. I hope it's uh, I hope we see uh, a bunch of other teams kind of rise up here, and I, I really don't want to see another SEC championship game because if this is kind of going to be the continue of the trend, I'm not going to watch. I I just won't watch. So. <sighs> Sitting here kind of rambling here, guys. I really didn't have any kind of um, script or anything like that or bullet points I kind of wanted to touch on here. If you guys watch the game, I have the M Live uh, the M Live article up here on my screen here. There really isn't really anything to even uh, talk about here today, guys. If you watch the game, it was vertically, it was horizontally uh, dominant by Georgia. Michigan couldn't do anything offensively or defensively except for the, oh, I do want to, I do want to say this here. If you guys are this far into the video, let me know, am I kind of being a little bit rash when I kind of say this thing for Anthony having that touchdown there and the celebration? What, what are you doing, dude? You're like four, <laughs> you're four scores down and you're celebrating in the end zone because at four minutes left in the, in the game, you scored a touchdown and you're celebrating. Okay, I understand you're celebrating in the end zone. Okay, you, you scored a touchdown, yes, but don't. It was something elaborate. It wasn't. It was wasn't necessary. It was. I looked at it as, <laughs> what are you doing? Kind of thing. You're you're being an idiot. Kind of. I, I guess I'm really, the the adjective that I want to use there is. I what I really want to use is expo, expletives, but I, I'm not going to do that here. I just don't understand why you're down four scores. You're, you scored a touchdown, yes, that's cool, that's that's great, but at the end of the day, it's just a touchdown and you're, you're four scores, three or four scores behind. I, I really don't understand why you celebrated there. I, you, you look like an idiot, number one, and you're, you make the team look like they, they're undeserving being there. So that, that's my thing with Anthony. If you guys are this far into the video, let me know, am I kind of being rash, am I being... Uh, is it just, hey, they're college kids and they're kind of doing this or whatever it is. To me, it just kind of seemed like a, a stupid move and uh, a real kind of a little bit of a black eye on the on the, on the the state of the program, number one for Michigan, at the school as a whole and on the Big Ten Conference. So that, that's just kind of my opinion on it. So, But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Let me know what you guys think kind of down in the comments. Um, 
about the game, it, am I right? It was just a, I think it just was an ass kicking by Georgia. Uh, I think they're going to go into the national championship and kind of be like, all right, Alabama, the SEC game was just an anomaly. Now we're going to kick your ass and we're going to take the national championship back to uh, back to Georgia, wherever the University of Georgia is. I don't know, I don't know where that is. So, but they're going to bring it to Georgia. I think if I'm a betting man, it's it's Georgia for the national championship. They're by far, they've they've shown they're the best team in the country. And this game just showed it here too. Anyway, let me know what you guys think right down in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Give it a thumbs down if you do not. Put a comment down there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, I'll just go ahead and leave it here. I didn't really expect to be here 10 minutes and 10 plus minutes. So you're going on 11. I guess I was kind of rambling here for a little too long. But anyway, if you guys are... Uh, any sort of watching my videos, you kind of you kind of know this anyway. So, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I got to go do stuff. As you guys can see back here, I got to do a little cleanup work and try to get to pretty much do a better 22, all right? All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.